everyone, as promised, I am back with the video about um, extended time without practice on your guitar. And, well, I guess without further ado, without further ado, let's just get right to it, shall we? Let me show you the results of me trying to practice after that time without practice. So here we go! Check it out! Try something a little different, because apparently that one's gonna take some work. Let's move on. We'll come back to that one later. Mm. You fucked up. You fucked up. Okay, so, all right, here we go. This is becoming inconsistent. <laughs> okay. Well, shit. Uh, after looking at a few of those, I figure it's essential to mention: don't practice your mistakes. That's that's what's going to stay in your muscle memory. Is the garbage. Don't. Just sit there and repeat the same thing over and over and over in, until you get it to the speed that you want and say, oh yeah, oh, well, that's good, that sounds awesome. And if you do insist on practicing your mistakes and rushing through things, chances are you're just going to end up with something that sounds like this. Pay attention to each individual note give each one the attention they deserve, and if you're stumbling across a section in that passage, stop, take a look at what exactly is bothering you, whether it's a picking motion, or something not, you know, a finger on the, on the fretting hand not landing where it's supposed to at the right time, whatever it happens to be, focus on it, figure it out, and then just practice that little bit of the passage until you get it right. Then move on. Then move on. See what happens. See if you can progress through the passage, you know, without stumbling up at that point. And if you do, awesome. Move on to the next fuck up. And if there's no more fuck ups, then I guess congratulations. You've remastered the lick. Ha ha ha. Okay, now here's the results of practicing that Eric Johnson sort of lick over the last month or so. And uh, I haven't been practicing that much. It's only been been about uh, half hour a day, and you know. It, and again, this was a lick that I knew previously. It's not something I I just learned. It's something I'm relearning. So the muscle memory is already sort of kind of there. If it's something new that you're learning, you might have to spend a little more time on it than that. But this, just half hour a day, you know. Not even, not even on that specifically a half hour, just a half hour total of practice. So not much time at all. Let's just stop rattling about it. Here's the results. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start out with a clean tone and then we're gonna go into rock and roll mode and do it with overdrive like it was originally intended. Starting with a clean tone is what you really should do so you can get an idea of how the notes are coming out. You, you can probably get them to sound a lot better if you start with a clean tone and then practice with overdrive and gain afterwards. And I'm sure you've heard other guitarists say that too, but it is the fact. Practice clean first, and I guarantee you, if you can sound killer with a clean tone, you're gonna sound 10 times better with your rock and roll tone. Garen freaking T. All right, now this look is in F sharp, in honor of Eric Johnson, since we're doing sort of Johnson-esque pentatonic stuff right now. Uh, so here we go. And one or two more times for clarity's sake. A little bit of a crossover between a couple notes, so let's do it one more time. Not bad. 
still could probably use some more. We're gonna go and move on with the rock. The rock sound. <laughs> screwing around. Let's get to what we came here for. Mm. Shall we try that again? <laughs> Let's get to what we came here for. One more time for the sake of rock and roll. Let's do this! Alright. And again, still needs work, I know. But then, pff, three months without practice will do that to you, especially when you have minimal time to catch up on that. But I guess that's the point, is that within that minimal amount of time that I was, you know, allotted to practice, I was able to get back up to that point. This point. The point that you're seeing now. You, you get my drift. Anyway, uh, I, I guess that's really all I wanted to cover was just that. I wanted to show you guys that it's not that hard. Don't be intimidated. Don't be depressed. Don't be freaked out if you have to take a break, a long break, or if something happens, you get injured and you're forced to take a break. Just don't panic over it. Yeah. It'll be okay. Just focus. Relearn everything. Be diligent. You will persevere as long as you allot time for yourself to do so. And you just you don't beat yourself up over it. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I was going to make a series out of this, uh, but to tell you the truth, I, th I think one episode is sufficient. Really don't see the point in carrying this on for multiple episodes. I mean, I, I, I think I've proven my point here for the most part, and really I just want to get back to what I was trying to do before, which is, you know, practice different genres, different styles, just broaden my musical horizon, maybe do some guitar covers on this channel, write some music of my own, blah blah blah. Um, bleh. Of course I'm going to be posting some more stuff like this, just, you know, riffs for you guys to to practice at home, or, or maybe even just vary up in your own little stylistic way and add to your, your little musical repertoire. Jesus Christ, can I speak today? My, your little musical repertoire of riffs, because, let, let's face it, Everyone steals riffs from everyone. That's the way it's been since the dawn of music, and that's the way it'll be since, you know, when music dies. I hope music never dies. Jeez, that's a horrible thought. You know what I'm saying, though. Don't be worried about, you know, taking a little bit from me, or this person, or that person, or the other person. Just make sure in the long run not to rely on copying other people, and make it your own. Make it your own in your own way, and I'm getting off on a way different fucking tangent than what this video was supposed to be on. On that note, I'm just going to wrap it up and say thank you guys for watching. This has been time without practice, or months without practice, or whatever the fuck I'm going to plan on naming this video. So, <clears throat> as I scoot the chair forward, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am the 16-bit guitarist, and very soon I will be doing some 16-bit retro playthroughs on my channel, as well as this, this thing that I do with the guitar, whatever it is. So yeah, look forward to enjoying that as well, and uh, probably going to be posting some more nature videos too, so enjoy that. Until then, happy guitaring, and you know, enjoy stuff. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Abby's right here waiting for you, Captain. Let's, yeah, let's, let's look oh, at Oh, perfect, oh, hot dog. <laughs> no, no, no hot dog. Don't want that.